Hi, welcome to Kaka. We're New Zealand's headset experts. This is a troubleshooting video for the Jabra 9330E telephone wireless headset. Now, most most of the things we're going to check for today is whether our battery is flat, um, and we're also troubleshooting if you haven't got your setup right or you can't can't have a clear dial tone or people can't hear you. So. What we'd like to do is, the first thing we do if you have any problems with a headset is we'd like to show you how to pair it with the base. Very simple process. First thing we would do is, if you can't get a dial tone or if people can't hear you properly, we will press the button on the side of the base which has two arrows pointing towards each other, like greater than or less than. Hold that in for five seconds. So. So you should be checking before you do this, check that you have lights and you've got power to the actual base. When you hold it in for that long, eventually you'll have a blue light that should flash on the top of the headset. If it's not, just try it again. So I'll hold it in for five seconds. Four, I'm waiting there. And we have a blue light, so that's paired. Then put your headset on to see if you have the dial tone, if it's working. If that's not working, we'll check the power to your battery. To do this, just put my lifter down. To do this, we will um, hold, hold the headset with the microphone boom arm down in your hand. Now push, while you've got that cradled, push on this top end of the battery, just where your, vol your receiver volume is and slide, push and slide down the length of that silver boom arm. That will dislodge your battery. Then what I'd like you to do is with the battery off, line it up, put it together and you should get a blue flash. If you have a blue flash you know that there's a charge within the battery. Pop it back onto the base and just check how many of these green lights are solid. If they're flashing that means you need to let the let the unit sit in there that hits it so it charges that battery. Once again, when you have, if there's any power disturbance to the unit, you will need to pair it again. So that means you just hold down those pairing buttons, the it's a greater sign and less than sign, and then eventually we've got the blue flash. That means the unit's paired. Pick up the headset, try it again, see if that works. If that doesn't work and someone may have been fiddling, with your um, with your headset, we'll pick up the base unit, undo the cover gently. It's like pulling off a safety cap from a bottle. My mine's caught there. So I'll squeeze it in again. Okay. What you do is you check your microphone volume. If someone has turned your microphone volume, that's a grey dial, right down. You may need to adjust that up so that your customers can hear you again. Um, otherwise what you could do is if you also note, if you turn it up too loud and hear an echo with your own voice, you need to turn it down a bit. So you could try the volume. Also double check the channel. In New Zealand, this channel here, the lever, where A to G is noted, A is the telephone polarity and that is the factory default setting. If you haven't got a clear dial tone, you can work through those channels if someone has changed it. Um, and just hold the headset to your ear, change through the channels, and just until you get that clear dial tone. A and G are typical for New Zealand for 90%. Cisco telephones tend to be B, most of Cisco. So work through that as well to see if you can get it. Once you have done that, once again, put your cover on, and we would suggest you to pair the unit. So hold down that greater less than and greater than button on the sides, so the two arrows facing each other, hold it down for five seconds. One and two and three and four and five. There we are. We have it paired, so that should be ready to go. The final option, what you could do if that isn't working, we would say double check all your wires and your setup. For this, you need to see our other videos. There's four different ways you can set up a 9330. Um, you can set it up with a telephone which doesn't have a headset port. You can have it set up with a telephone that does have a headset port. And then there's two options for remote answering. You either use an electronic hook switch, an EHS cable, or a lifter, which you can see here in my case on this telephone. So go through that video, make sure you have it all set up. 
The last thing we would do for your 9330 is that you can try a hard power reset. So that means put the headset in the charging cradle, turn off the power, lift the headset up, dislodge the battery like we showed you before. So holding it down in the palm of your hand, push on the top of the battery in a sliding motion down, separate it, hold it for a second or two, put it back together. It'll take two seconds to put it back together. Okay. Put it back on the base, turn on your power, and then once you see your lights flash, hold down, hold down the pairing button on the side, that greater than or less than signs together. For the five seconds, we get the blue flash, and then we've paired the unit and we've done a hard reset. If none of these activities work to solve your problem, then ring us and we'll try and talk you through um, your setup or watch the setup videos. If something does seem to be broken and non-responsive, then you simply need to contact us and we'll talk you through the RMA process for returns. Note, um, please note that the units, when you are sending stuff back to us, you need a return number, we will give you an RMA number, and also there's a charge for assessment. So if it's a user error, and we have checked it, and there's nothing wrong with the unit, there will be a fee involved, which includes the courier back to you. And But if it is something that's failing on the unit under warranty, then we will send it back to the manufacturer and get things sorted for you um, under the two-year warranty of the unit. Um, we will also need the serial number, of your 9330 and the serial number can often be found, I'll pop that down, under the base here. So we need, you'll need to supply us with both the numbers on that label. So just take off the, the back piece of the charging cradle by sliding it up and then gently pulling away and we need those two numbers there. One is the unit number and the other is a serial number. And we'll also need a return address and all of your contact details. That would be awesome. So thank you very much for your time. I hope this troubleshooting video has been helpful for you. And please feel free to contact us at free call in New Zealand 0508 222553 or go to our website www.cackle.co.nz, C-A-C-K-L-E. Our other setup videos can be found on YouTube and Google. Thanks a lot. Okay, bye for now.